But if you close your eyes <laughs> go for it or should one wait for some kind of sign to come because one thing I've noticed in my own personal life sometimes if you wait too long it might never come you're exactly right if he if you wait for God to show you something supernaturally that you're to do what he simply commanded you to do in the Bible you'll die and have never done anything let me tell you you don't realize it when you're young but life is very fast you know I'm 35 married with a kid now it feels like just the other day I was 17 playing video games all day. I thought 35 year olds were old. And I'll tell you, as quick as it went from 17 to 35, it'll be that quick to 58, and it'll be that quick to 80, and then into heaven to see Jesus. So you can't wait. If you don't know what God's commanded you to do specifically, if Jesus hasn't appeared to you, and I'm telling you this is somebody that had an angel appear to them and put a call of God on my life. But if you haven't had something like that happen, you don't need God to, have to make a special trip to tell you what's already in the Bible. And so the Bible gives orders that every Christian is to be following. You know, the Great Commission is not the Great Suggestion. The Great Commission is, is the number one command for anybody that's a believer. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. And so there is something. It's not to ask God, should I do something? It's what, where is my gift? And then... You know, how do you find out what it is God wants you to do? What are you naturally good at? What interests you? You know, there's some su subjects, if you had to read about it for 15 minutes, you'd go out of your mind. And there's other subjects, you could read about it for three hours, and it feels like 15 minutes went by. Those are clues to how God wired you. Because God didn't make you interested in things and good at things because he's schizophrenic and he's going to use you in something else that has nothing to do with those things. What, what you naturally have a gift for, you turn those gifts over to God and God will use you in those areas. And so don't wait for a special vision from God. And I'll tell you another thing. Even if you read in the Bible, people that had special visions from God, He met them in motion. They were already doing something yes. in that direction and then the Lord saw them working and gave them further instruction. If you sit in your living room, it's like a lady told a story, a, a woman evangelist in the United States, that she was in her hotel bathroom, and she was knelt down by the toilet just praying. She hadn't been seeing miracles. Lord, use me in healing. Lord, use me in miracles. And she said she felt the Lord speak to her so strongly on the inside. Cindy, the toilet doesn't need a healing. So, you know, she's in there praying, Lord, use me in healing. There's not even any people there to heal. Get out where the people are. Find something productive to do, and God will put his hand on you and use you. Yes.